Hello everyone, welcome to another Minecraft tutorial. Today, Reverse Steve will be showing off what Fabric API is, how to get it, and some use cases for the Fabric API software. Reverse Steve, take it away. Thank you. So indeed, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to download Fabric API onto Minecraft Java. But to get it started, you need to have the Fabric Launcher aka the installer and to get the installer you need to go on your web browser right here in this case i have google chrome and search up fabric minecraft let's do that fabric minecraft here it is fabricmc.net that's the official website so we just click on it and on this website we will see a blue download button click on that and download for windows here it is so here we have downloaded the fabric installer for windows now you need to have the fabric api to get that thing you need to go on a new search and look up fabric api minecraft fabric api minecraft up oh, for now everything is nice and easy here we have modern and we have the updated version of the Fabric API right here. All we have to do is click on that, go on download, and select game version, select the latest one, or whatever you want to use. In this case, we have 1.20.3. We'll choose that, and we'll say Platform Fabric, of course. We're going to press download right here. There you go. Now, what's the use case of the Fabric API? Quite simple. Some mods, uh, actually many, needs to have the Fabric API so we can use Fabric. And for this example, we have Rust. It's a common example, so here it is. Rust is a Minecraft Fabric client. It's a mod, so it needs something to run. And this mod right here, if you scroll down, you see Fabric API. Some mods don't tell you how to get the API, like this one. So you go right here, but on does, but you might not be using Rust. So in this case, if you have a mod, so for example, we have Rust, just download your mod and you will have right here, your Fabric installer, Fabric API, which is also this, and Rust or any other mod that requires the Fabric API. So now you're done with the web browser part. Just simply close and go to the next step. This step is going to the Minecraft launcher. Reason for that is because you need to make sure you have Minecraft 1.21.3.4, whatever, downloaded. For example, right here, I have already played it. So all these files on my computer and Fabric, the, the Fabric installer will be able to notice that I have Minecraft installed. For me, it's fine. If you didn't play this version or any version you want to choose, make sure to press play before installing Fabric. Make sure to close Minecraft because it will not index into the application, aka it's not going to show it up until you reload the app. So it's better on doing it without the app open. Now, just go to your file manager and go to downloads. Here you'll see the files we have downloaded, including your mod, Fabric API, and the installer. For the installer, simply double click it, and it's gonna show up this window. Make sure it's the version you wanna use, and then click install. There you go. Now, just press OK and close it, and go to the next step, which is opening the Minecraft launcher. So let's open Minecraft Launcher again. Okay, loading, and here we are. As we just installed it, it's gonna show up. Fabric Loader, it's Fabric. And you wanna add a mod to it. So to do so, go to Installations, and go to this little folder icon, all of these folder icons do go to the same place. Just click on this one, for example. 
and you'll be sent to .minecraft. Here you'll be interested in the mods folder. So, what happens if you take your mod, like Rust for example, copy it, click this arrow, and put it in the mods folder without the API. Let me show you. Simply go to the Minecraft launcher, click play, and it's gonna do its thing. But remember, this mod needed an API launcher, so what's gonna happen? There you go. It says, I can't have it because I don't have API. So Minecraft just doesn't launch if you don't have the API. So, how do we get the API to launch? Here we go with the exit code, whatever. Simply, once you're in the mods folder right here, okay, just go to downloads and copy that. Well, make sure to copy the API. Go back using this evo and paste it inside the mod folder. The API is a mod, so it goes in a mods folder. Now you're done. Open up Minecraft. It's gonna launch the game again. Okay. And we just click play. And it's gonna just launch without any problem because we added the API. So let's launch Minecraft real quick and test out the mod. Okay. Here it is. As this is a hack client, app manager, you know it works. But Minecraft 1.20.3 fabric modded. You know that fabric works. You know that the mod works. Now, just go to a single player world and we'll see the mod in action. Up. Okay. And we can see, but if I just click control, there you go. You just have some interesting features added to the game. But overall, there you go. That's how you add the Fabric API to Minecraft and get your mods, like any mod, like Rust, or anything you want that uses the Fabric API to run and stop your game from crashing. Thanks for watching.